Hello, you beautiful <coughs> people. Welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome back to a brand new video. <coughs> Welcome back to a new video. This is Riff of the Day. This is number five, I believe. Oh, for God, Bob. Oh, sweet Jesus. Uh, yeah, so this is Riff of the Day, number five. Now, again, I usually bring either a real song, a riff from a real song, or just a riff I come up with myself. Today, it's going to be a riff I wrote myself. <laughs> I wrote a riff. Yeah, so this is, I think it's a fun one, you know. It, could, it sounds really bluesy and jazzy. Well, more blues than jazz. And it's like something you could end the solo on again, so it's kind of like a... You know what I mean? That's the wrong key. Anyways, you get the idea. So, one more, I'll just run through it real quick. Now, what that is, is very simple. Again, if you're a beginner, you know, hard luck. <laughs> no, you can, you can learn, anyone can learn anything. It, what it is, sixth fret on the G string. It's gonna be six, eight, nine. It has to be played like that, you can't just... So instead of... Six, eight, nine on the G string. Then it's gonna be six, nine on the B string, and then six, nine on the high E string. Then you gotta do it one more time, and slow it down. So, slowly. And at full speed. Ah, oh, Joe, I'm only messing, I'm only joking with you. Normal speed. Obviously, <laughs> I say I wrote this, but I'm sure this has been played like a million times in the past by random people all over the world, and it's probably in a couple of songs. I'm just saying, I just sit there some days, I'm just playing around, and I come up with stuff like this. So don't judge me, goddammit. I didn't steal it. If you ever heard of it, please let me know, because it's I like it. It's a nice little riff. So. Oh, there you go, that's been Riff of the Day number, number 5, I believe. Hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I'll see you in the next video. Again, before I go, you can play this anywhere. So.